Things are getting real. Things are getting real. Ooh. How's everyone doing today? This is going to be a fun one. I am excited to be back in Emerald Lake, everybody. Goodness gracious. It feels good. Feels good to be back. Who's all in the chat today? We've got Ethan Weaver, Lisa Schmidt, Flounder, Brentley, Draft Boy, Jack Friesner, for Keith, Gerald Bates is here. How's it going, Gerald? Max Dang, Red Group, Grizzly King, Trenton Trotter. That's a fun name to say, Trenton Trotter. It's like Bruce Banner or something. Wade Wilson. Red Group, Outdoors and Stuff, Fishing for Fun, Croker, Garrett, Keegan, Bussin, Bizzin, Bussin, Cruiser, Cruiser. Is this supposed to be like Cruiser Bruiser? Tegan. Dr. Goat, Aiden, Phase Views, Jelly Bob, Cat, Nicole Dowers is here. Pico, we are, we are in the Everglades today, everybody. Feel free, send me an old friend request. We'll accept it if you want to join into the old friends lobby here. I, uh, but obviously, it's a secret, right? It's a secret. Here, here. Gotta zoom. It's gotta be more personal. Whoa, is that too close? <laughs> Oh, here we go. We're good, yo. It is Lisa, you'll get it eventually. Lisa, you're you're Lisa. All right, everybody. We're uh, fishing for bass. You'll notice that I have 91% on my reel, and you'll just have to wait. You'll just have to wait till uh till the actual video comes out for the beginner series at the Everglades to learn why that is. We got our first bass on though, and that's what matters. That's what matters, boys. And girls, and everyone. Saving money for the wife's home honeydew list. Oh, okay, I see. I'm with you now. I got you, Gerald. 
There we go, little little guy, little almost three pound bass. Little almost three pound bass. That's that's typical way people describe that. E E S S Pico says. Oh no. We got a lily pad. We got a lily pad. Dang it. This little that little thing right there is just a trap. It's a trap to get lily pads. It's ridiculous. You're not even close to the lily pads. I mean, you're you're close, but I mean, you're not even that close. Timothy Descatel, what's your setup? I'll show you what my setup is, man. I'll show you once I get this guy in. As you can all see, I'm using a third uh, bass jig right now, three odd hook with a two and a half inch craw on there. Just mix it up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at this dude putting up a little bit of a battle. He's aggressive. He's aggressive. Taking out some line now. We've got a 13-pound uh, rod here. 11-pound reel, I believe. And 13-pound uh, line on here. And uh, if you do remember, I was level 20 when I first came to Everglades. So uh, we weren't using anything that amazing. But I will show you what I'm using right now. Ghost carp fishing. Any suggestions? Not really, T-Smart. Um, I usually, uh, I always caught them just fishing for the other carp, so I don't think there's anything special. I don't think, anyway. Diamond Red Deer today and Hunter Call the Wild. Right on, Timothy. Well done. I'm sure it's beautiful. Those Diamond Red Deer can be really stunning. We are just tearing down this old, uh, reel. It is losing durability by the moment. Are we gonna start off this day with a trophy? We are! Let's go! 5.486 pound trophy largemouth bass. Not amazing anyway, money-wise. Only 386 bucks, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Board of Cali trying to get 254 anything. Bro, you're one level away. Stick to Cali just for that much more. Find a good movie, watch the movie, and just uh, and just fish. Get it over with. You're one level away. You can do it. Oh my god. I. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to reel in fast. I forgot to uh, show you. Your fan from Malaysia, right on, Nakmal. Hazim. You rock, man. Love everything you do. Robert Waddell. Appreciate it. I hope it's Waddell. Uh, Waddle doesn't, I don't know, it could be Waddle, but I'm thinking Waddell. I don't know, you tell me. Waddell? That's number one. Waddle number two. You tell me one or two. Anyway, I am using a level 20. I was level 20 when I bought this. Level 21 now, since I've been at the Glades. Level 20 when I bought this, I got the six foot three Argo. Reason I went with that was because I was using a value spin, I believe, which was also six foot three. So I thought, well, I'll be able to cast far enough anyway. Um, so I'm using the Argo six foot three. I'm also using the Attorney 3000P, which is 11 pounds. Um, and then I have 13 pound braid on here, like I said. It's working pretty well, honestly. Um, catching bass in the Everglades. I even caught something uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit saltier, should I say? Um, but I don't want to give it away, so uh, we'll leave it. We'll leave it for the video because I don't want to, uh, don't want to ruin the ending, the big ending. Everyone's gonna stick around for the uh, the ending of the Everglades video now. Well, that stings, Grizzly King. Gosh dang. How much do you make of the 66 pound stringer? You know, not as much as I wish. I think you could easily get away with a 100 pound stringer if you had one. There are so many bass at the Everglades um, that I think you could easily fill up a 100 pound stringer. Um, but for now, we got a 66 pound one, so that's what we're using. Switch to a Twitch right now. The Twitch was working really well for me as well. And there we go, yep. Immediately, killed a great one red deer yesterday. Dang, Beaver, well, well done. Smallmouth Buffalo set, it's not working. Well, what's the deal? Are you fishing during the right weather? Ah, uh, that's usually my next question for most people. Touring 16 in a few hours. Whoa, very cool, Civic Kid. Fix, Fix Bay is here. Little largies, little largies, but that's okay. We'll take them. We'll take the little ones. Just makes the big ones look, you know, even better. How am I doing, Age of Man ass? I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. Kroger asks, Quanchkin or St. Croix? Well, St. Croix for the money, but if you have strong enough equipment, 
Quanchkin is the only place you can get the uh, the fabled alligator gar. So uh, I think you should go for the alligator gar, you know, eventually. God, look at this guy taking us out to 120. Last time I had a fish doing this to me, it was actually a seven and a half pound trophy. It hadn't even broken uh, a, a unique. So this will be interesting. Oh man. Boy, I'd love to see those unicorns dancing though. Though I will say that with the uh, fish jail medium I have right now, I can't keep any fish over eight and a half pounds. So if it is eight and a half pounds or larger, then I'm gonna have to let it go. But we'll still see those unicorns dance by George. It's gonna be fun all the same. Uh, why isn't your surgeon farm effective? I don't know, Greg. What? Why isn't it? Where would it be? I'm not really sure, Keegan. I haven't. I haven't decided. Love the vids from Ireland, Liam. Thank you. Appreciate it. Do you think the best lure is the frog here? I, you know, I'm not 100% sure. I think the buzzbait's also a pretty fun lure to use, but uh, but the frog is definitely a lot of fun. Cast it into the uh, lily pads. Um, you can catch gar, bass. I mean, it just it, it's just a fun lure. Got him just above 100 right now. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Uh, major bass bow. Absolutely, Max. Dang. When will the Everglades video release? Probably. I'm thinking Monday or Tuesday of next week. We've still got... So we had, the Naharan video came out today. Um, Emerald Lake Part 2 will come out tomorrow. I'm thinking I better get to uh, editing a real-life fishing video for Friday. And then... And then, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens after that. Dustin, how's it going, Dustin? An M Dog, how's it going, M Dog? Colin, hi. Thanks to live, yo, BZ. Remember last live stream on Wednesday, we hit 315 likes. I know. Everyone was very generous last, uh, last live stream with the likes, and I appreciate it. 315 likes was that, that was a new record, I do believe. I don't think uh, I think it'll be a while before we beat that. That was uh, that was a wild live stream. We had uh, we topped out of like 200 and some odd people here too. It was insane. And I'm thinking about going for a pack. Any recommendations? I do not have any recommendations, Indo Gamer. I uh, I always stuck with uh, premium. Brother Macho Man Bo, how's it going, Dallas Fisher? It's Macho Man, boo. <laughs> oh, that's still the halftime show that I have, too, so we'll get to watch that again. That'll be great. <laughs> Starting playing in my biggest fish is a 4.82 pound channel cat. Right on, right on, Agent Man. 103 concurrent viewers, all waiting for me to reel in this dang bass. Golly, he's putting up a fight. Woo, wee. Just did a little flip there. A little flipper do out of the water. Come on, man. 50. Oh, he's out to 60 again. Golly. What a fighter. But he's not hes not taking all of our line out. He's not breaking us off anyway. That's good. Come on, you... You honorary cuss. Cheers from New Mexico, Bo. How's it going? Thank you. Thank you. What's the best place for XP to level up when you are level 43? Now, yeah, that would still, uh, well, if you've got San, uh, San Joaquin, oh, look at this chunk, look at this chunk. What do we got? <gasps> we got him! 11.295, boys! Let's go! Hit the unicorns dance, unicorns dance! Oh my goodness gracious. I did not expect that. I, I really did not. I don't know. I don't know what to say, honestly. I, I was thinking he would be like an eight pounder or something like that, but I was not thinking freaking 11.295 pounds. Good night, everybody. Look at this chunk. Look at Heenil. What do you think, Heenil? Huh, buddy? Good night, everybody. That is insane. That'll work. That'll work. We can't keep him, unfortunately, but we do get to keep the 532 XP, which is just fine by my by my calculations. That is a ginormous bass, though. 11.295 pounds. Absolutely 
absolutely a monster. Let's let him go. Let him get bigger. And we got some other we got some other fish to fry. Let's go ahead and move on to another uh, area here. We'll focus on the peacock now. We've already got the the largies. We already got the unique largie. Let's switch over to let's see Walker Docker. That's right. Switch over to the Walker here. Cast out and try to get the old uni peacock out of here. Congrats, dude! Wow, that's crazy. QTC. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Whoa, big gar! Oh, jeez. We got a gar now. Hooked up, hooked up to a little soft, little soft set. Soft hook set there. What's your favorite video game? I, you know, I don't have a favorite video game, per se. Um, but I do like uh, Bethesda games. Fallout, Elder Scrolls, that sort of thing. Those have been my favorite games to play growing up just always been a big fan of them all right another florida guard not great money making there but still fun to catch you can't keep them though i know darn it all what a hog caught my pb largemouth on the guggen zinger a few weeks ago he was 4.5 pounds first day i've ever used the guggen lures wow that must mean that they're the best eh who's this bjorn bjorn is on the hunt What's all the jaw jacking about? Marco, thanks for the sub. Is that when someone goes, Polo, we found you. Um, what's all the jaw jacking about? Oh, nothing at all. If it's not concerning a carp, then what's the big deal, huh? Jay Kizzle, Jay Kizzle. Come on, peacocks. Where are ya? Where are ya at? Oh, 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 there's a peacock. There's a peacock. We got him. We got him. I want sheephead in the game. That would be a good one. I agree. Buy packs, if so, which one should I buy? You know, I don't recommend any of the packs. Um, the only the packs I recommend are the uh, the ones uh, during the holidays. They're, they're fairly cheap. They're like usually six bucks or eight bucks or something like that. And, uh, and they save you a lot of time and let you uh, take part in the holiday uh, festivities and to me that's that's worth it other than that I don't really recommend any of the packs can I get he nails number can I get your number uh, going fishing for 15 pound channel in Arkansas ooh very cool what a legend Lisa says wanted to watch your hunter call while I was at Cedar Point oh okay all right two games Jurassic World Evolution 2 Absolute best game ever, and I'll die on that hill, Lazarus says. <laughs> you know, I had to look up how to uh, create the ending that I wanted for that game. That's my only uh, my only thing I have to say about that one, was that I feel like it should have been easier to get the ending that I wanted. Oh, jeez. What do you think is more pretty in this game, the carp or the pickerel? That's such an interesting uh, question. The carp or the pickerel? Yanked it. We yanked it out of his mouth. Yanked that bad boy out of his mouth. Um, I mean, I, the carp are my favorite in the game. Carp, absolutely. How long have you been on Fishing Planet game? We started playing in uh, 2000, 2020, we think? I'm not really sure what the heck that was. That was an interesting colored fish. He came up and tried to grab it. That looks like a peacock. Oh, we missed him too. Come on, come on, fish. Oh, oh, he's back. He's back. It's a pretty good size. Oh my god, are you serious? A pretty good sized peacock, too. You missed it twice. He's not gonna come up and grab it now that it's way over here. Oh, that was a pretty good sized peacock. That had to be a trophy or better. Come on, peacocks. Be peacocks. My PB Bass years school says it doesn't count because I caught it on live bait. Oh, they're just they're just being silly. If you caught the fish and you didn't stab it with an arrow or a spear or something like that, it counts. Well, snagging is not a good thing either. Tarpon fishing versus catfish fishing. Man, I, tarpon fishing has always been uh, really fun to me. 
Best way to get to Maku Maku Lake fast. Ooh, ooh, what happened? What happened? We got something. I missed it. I was reading the chat. Oh, it's a spunky, a spunky peacock, it looks like. What's my favorite monster fish? Ooh, good question. Um... You know, the first one that comes to mind at the moment, anyway, is the, uh, the Terror Tarpon. He's cool. He's got hooks sticking out of him and stuff. Can you please catch a shark? I would love to, but I can't. Do you remember me? I remember everyone. Do you remember me? How are you? I'm good. Well, that's good, Father Mick. Corgis, he remember ever exactly. Family Guy's got it. How excited are you for Call of the Wild Angler? You know what? Excitement 1 through 10, I am a solid 12. I am very excited about it. I'm ready to play. I'm putting in all the chips. We have a... Uh, you have to remember, March 5th, thanks for the sub. Uh, ooh, ooh, there's a little fish. A fish tried to grab it. Oh, he tried to grab it twice. He missed it both times. Oh, it's a big peacock. Big peacock. He's got it. We, oh, we hooked him. We hooked, I missed the sub, but we got a big peacock. Oh God, I had to run away to keep him hooked. Gotta run away to keep him hooked. Dude, he looked like a big peacock, but he's, he's not fighting at all. Okay, I am missing the subs. One by one. He is so not that big. He looked giant when I hooked him. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry those who subbed. I was really excited that Peacock looked ginormous. And it was not. It was only three pounds. Account name? That's for you to figure out. I'm talking about... <laughs> with me, because then we start a debate. Exactly right, Dallas Fisher. Exactly right because bow fishing is is a hunting sport it's using the same equipment you know if i were to use if i were to use a, a rod and reel in, in hunting you know they, they'd probably still call it hunting right but yeah uh, you use a bow in fishing and somehow it's still fishing you know they, people say well it's because you're going after fish that was because it's fishing no <laughs> Another little gar. How are you? I'm doing well, Father Mick. How are you? God, God, hi. What level are you, sweaty designer ass? 21 at the moment. 21 at the moment. That bass and brought him in definitely counts. Member, you member? Member berries. Everyone needs some member berries in their life. Come on, the fish. Come on, the fish. Get the walker. Everyone loves the walker. Every, huh? Get the walker? Little Texas Ranger action going on here. There's nothing going for this right now. Just gonna bring that guy in. Will you stop playing Fishing Planet when the angler comes out? Is that what you asked? Uh, I'm not sure. We're just gonna have to wait and see how good the game is, I guess. How much time it ends up taking up and how much, uh, people still play Fishing Planet afterwards. Cracked! Hey, Bo. How's it going, Cracked? I'm only going to watch you on live on only Mondays. Okay. Well, if you like the Hunter Call of the Wild... Oh, you just came up for it. If you like the Hunter Call of the Wild, then that's probably the move to make, eh? Rohan's here. How's it going, Rohan? What's the best money grind map? I don't know. It just depends on where, uh, you know, what level you are, I guess. Congo River is probably the best money grind map in the game. <laughs> but uh, you can't go there for a long, long time unless you buy the pack. So it doesn't really do you any good. Because the bow has a reel on it. Oh my god. That's what it is. It's the reel that makes it fishing. So if I were to shoot a deer with a bow and then reel it in, I would be fishing. Ah, it all makes sense now. It's like 2020 transparency. I can see through it. It's like I'm using Windex on the window. It's all so clear now. Come on, fish. Toxix, how's it going, Maine? Got my first freshwater drum two weeks ago. Didn't know they were in my river. Oh, those darn freshwater drum. They're everywhere. 
You just need to hook one to figure out where they are. Yeah, no, it's a, they're an interesting fish. You can catch them on all sorts of stuff. Um, first one I ever caught in my life, simply on some worms. A worm on a hook. Uh, and then the second one I caught, uh, well, the second one I remember catching anyway, uh, was on a Meps lure. I was just reeling it in through a river, and next thing I know, I have a bite, and it's a freshwater drum of all fish. So, yeah. They're just an interesting fish. Now I'll hurt your bull sharks more. I, you know, I really don't care. I, I, I they're all, they're both swell. I haven't had too many conversations with either of them, so I really don't know. I think this spot's dead, though. I think we, uh, we might have caught all the fish that we can here, or just the walker's done here. The walker's not doing us any good here. Anymore. Let's switch. Let's go to a bass jig, eh? Mix it up, go to a bass jig. That's what I did when we uh, started the episode. Started off with a bass jig, was destroying them. Then, it, then the bites, you know, slowed down. So then I switched to the, uh, oh, look at that. Immediately. Switch to the walker, continue to catch fish. Everyone wants you to play a hunter call the wild. Literally, there, there is probably only uh, f five to 10% of the people here who want me to play call the wild. Um, and I know that because when I do play Call of the Wild, we max out at like 60 people here all the time. Just don't have enough people that enjoy watching me play Call of the Wild. But we play it on every Monday, just the same. Cast to the right of the point, I'll guarantee a picture of us on almost every cast. Oh, you're just gonna have to wait. You're just gonna have to wait till the, uh video comes out main what map do I recommend for level 27 you know what you're just gonna you're just gonna have to wait till the video comes out main that's my that's gonna be my answer from now on if you if you haven't gotten your answer from my beginner series so far then you're just gonna have to wait for a, another series to come out and answer it what do you use for Pike on St. Croix? Dayton, thank you for the sub. Um, I use shiners. That's what I use most of the time. Jerk bait also works. Crank bait can get them as well. Hey, I'm not doing a lift and drop. I'm doing a twitch. Pioneer. Thank you, Pioneer. Can you try a buzz bait? You can try a buzz bait. I'm only level 21 though, so I don't have any buzz bait. Switch to frog fishing. You know what? You can't catch any frogs in the game. I know it stinks. I know a lot of people would love to go fishing for frogs, Michael. Um, but yeah, no frogs to catch. You can catch turtles, but no frogs. You know, one place I haven't gone yet is the darn infinity tunnels. <gasps> we forgot to mark where we caught that uni largemouth. Oh no, I was going to tell myself I needed to mark every uni I caught from now on. And I immediately forgot, so that's cool. Get out there. David Probus is here. How's it going, David? Going to St. Croix, any advice? Catch the pike and watch the BZ Hub beginner series videos and and uh, live videos that, uh, that, that, you know, go with that. Wonder if Fishing Planet will die when the angler comes out? You will just have to see. I'll tell you, this is a much older looking game. Um, so uh, if people are really concerned about graphics and stuff like that, or if there's just more of a community that starts up with the angler, then, uh, then you know, they might just lose the community they have on the Fishing Planet. I know that the people with uh, Russian fishing are excited about uh, the angler. They say that whenever a fishing game comes out, it ends up sending more people to Russian fishing. And I, I guess that kind of makes sense. As people play the game, maybe they don't enjoy it, or maybe they finish whatever they were interested in finishing, and then they think, okay, what other fishing games can I play? They look up Russian fishing, uh, they look up Fishing Planet, and now they're playing Russian fishing or Fishing Planet. 
uh, when they originally got into fishing games because of the angler uh, or something like that. So it'll be interesting to see. I don't know, T-Smart. I already answered your question. Chance of not catching anything. Yeah. Been a rabbit hunting with beagles. That's all I really do. I got about six dogs. Dang, Dustin. No, I've never done that. That's not really a thing we uh, we do in Kansas. I know that my uh, my great grandparents, being in Kansas, had uh, greyhounds. He used to hunt uh, coyotes and stuff with greyhounds. A little trophy, Largy. Right on, right on, bro. Keep that guy. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything other than that, other than the greyhounds. Never did anything with beagles. Obviously, we had bird dogs and stuff growing up. Thomas Jackson, thank you for this sub. Infinity equals unis. You know, I, I've honestly probably caught only 10% of my unis at, our, at the Everglades um, in the Infinity Tunnels. I just don't have... Uh, I don't know where they are, or I just don't have good luck here. I don't know. Use a topwater lure. We were just using the walker not long ago, man. Give me a break. Jeez. We're obviously catching them on the Bastion, so is it that big of a deal? The uni we just caught not 15 minutes ago or something like that was on a Bastion, so just let me do my thing, okay, coach? I, I, I don't know what sort of rookie football player you think I am here, but I don't need some, you know, freaking Mike Ditka teaching me how to fish all the time. And if the angler incorporates cut bait or catching live bait in their game, that would be interesting. I agree. Would be pretty cool. I know if they ask me for anything like that, any ideas, better believe I'll be tossing something like that to them. Though I will say that with their uh, current catch and release mechanic that they uh, have mentioned, I don't think that would be very uh, friendly to uh, using to to catch fish and creating cut bait. It's not very catch and release ish. But you know what? Fishing isn't all about catch and release. Sometimes it's about taking one fish and using it to catch a larger fish. Uh, like your stream, like this stream. How long do you stream for? To about two hours, so uh, 7.30 to 9.30. Where should we cast? I don't even know. Cast over here, try this spot. Need some markers? <laughs> no, 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 no. How is that people always seem to ask me? They always ask if I remember them, but they never remember anything about me. Like that I remember everyone. Or that I never want markers. Or, uh, you know, I don't like people telling me what to do in fishing games. <laughs> Use frog on lily pad. Oh, thank you, Brian! Oh my gosh, and let me just pull out this frog out of out of thin air because I'm level 21 and I don't have frogs unlocked yet. Yeah, I'll just ask a magic genie to create one for me. It's like golf. Fun to see what play boring to watch for me. That's what I think there is more for fishing planet. Oh, okay. Max Dane's gotta go. All right, see you later, man. When's the next free-to-play video coming out? Uh, Monday is what I was thinking anyway. Or actually, it's tomorrow, technically. The The second one is coming out Monday. But uh, the most recent, not the most recent one. The, the one that comes out tomorrow comes out tomorrow, okay? Jeez Louise. Probably a freaking channel catfish. What in the world? Didn't expect that. Almost five pounds. Nose is itchy. Infinity Tunnel, second channel from the left, middle to right side, as far as you can cast. So, like from there to over here. I'll try it. I'll try it. Next one I do. Next one I do. I'll, I'll, t I'll toss it over there. We'll find out what we do. What do you think about the angler? What is coming out? I'm excited about the angler. I am excited about the angler. Can't you tell? I'm a 12 out of 10. Thanks for coming with oh, the idea for EESS, Fishing Planet Gods. Fishing Planet Gods. That's exactly right. 
Everyone's waiting for me to catch another uni. They're all waiting for me to catch another uni for the uh, the likes. 169 people here, 75 likes. It's you know everyone's just you know you're all you're all wondering. They're like, well, I don't give my likes away to just anyone. I only give it to people who deserve it. And they're just waiting. They're just waiting for me to do something incredible, amazing. I get it. I get it. You know. Tell it recommend fishing traps since you have to find your own find spots with bait fish. Ooh, like okay. So not so much catching fish and uh, and killing them to make bait, but uh, throwing out nets and stuff, cast nets and whatnot. A level up for the net to keep of fish. Night light, thanks night light. Cool cat, hi. Neverglades proper frog just caught 10.615 pounder. Noise. Been grinding blue crab and caught 144 pound tarpon. Wowie zowie. Mr. X unknown. Hi. Hi. Is Angler going to be on Xbox? I would certainly believe so. Weeping Willow Fisheries, and I'm loving it. Right on, Bryce. Yeah, carp fishing at Weeping Willows is one of my favorites as well. Look at this little spunky guy. Got hooked and immediately jumped out of the water. Tried this game for the first time a few days ago. It's great. It is great, Grizz. You can you can get hooked into it. Ha! Huh. Hooked into it. Um, you can get hooked into it pretty easily. Look at this dude. I thought he was a peacock. If this dude is a peacock, we might have a uni on our hands. He just pulled out like 20 feet of line. He's coming in rather quickly now. Might only have a trophy, but I would... Boy, an uni would be uh, pretty amazing, wouldn't it? I don't think we got an uni. Got another trophy, but it is a new personal record, so that's cool. Right on, right on, new personal record, Peacock Bass. 4.974, $451. Honestly, the butterfly peacock bass are one of the best paying fish in the Everlights. So, it's gonna be sweet. Only be on next gen consoles, not Xbox. Three out rattlesnake worm here is an uni killer. Oh my gosh. Bought me some new dive bomb goose select decoys yesterday. And it cost me $90. Whoa, goodness gracious. Any of those unicorn largies or peacocks? Just one, Cole Starkey. Just one. We just got two bait coins for those bass, though. All right, those people aren't even online, so we're not gonna not gonna let them come play with us. Not gonna let you play with us. Have I missed a big fish yet? Oh, just one, just one. Lazy Rust, how's it going? every stream at least it shows that you're getting new people here yeah very true that is the one bright side of things eh well done sir thank you David thank you 54 pound gar my best fish I can't tell you it's a secret you're just gonna have to wait till the Everglades video comes out realize that I only have a 13 pound rod so what am I really capable of doing Catching a 5.397 pound channel catfish is what I'm capable of doing, evidently. Why are we catching so many dang channel cats out here, dude? Jeez Louise. Let's go, let's go. How are you, Lit Skittle? I'm doing quite well, how are you? Best lure for big fish. Best lure for big fish. Oh, there is a, uh, there's a spoon. There is a type of spoon that, uh, goes to, like, a dot or something like that. That would be the big one. That would be the big one. See you later. See you later, Lisa. What do you think the angler is going to cost on Steam? I'm thinking $30. 30 to $40. Play with you. Sorry, I just missed that bill, maybe. You're a beginner. Do you have any tips, Bo? Absolutely. Watch the BZ Hub Beginner Series. That's why I made it. 190 peeps! My goodness gracious. 190 peeps, and as you'd expect, 190 li- 
Oh, not 190 likes. Because not 190 people like me. I get it. You know, hate me, if you will. I wish there was a hate button. Every time you pressed it, you paid me a dollar. <laughs> Just kidding. That's a that's an Elvis reference. Though. The Elvis sold. If you've seen the movie, Elvis sold I hate Elvis buttons to make money off the people who uh, who didn't like him. Which is pretty ingenious, if you ask me. What's the best lure for big fish? I already answered that, Moyo. It's a big spoon. It's like an ADOT big spoon or something like that. Look at this trophy guy we got in here. What play fishing place do you recommend with grinding money besides St. Croix and San Delta? Nothing. Uh, the other, the other two E's, Emerald Lake and Everglades. A seven pound trophy largemouth, I'll take ya. I'll take ya. A little small though. 500 bucks for seven pounder. 203 people here? And as you'd expect, 203 likes as well. Just kidding. Still being sarcastic about that. I get it though. It's difficult. It's difficult to hit the like button. You know, it's like a whole tap. You gotta, you gotta tap that thing and it's like, ah, uh, it takes so much energy. I'd rather just sit here and listen to this guy talk about it for forever. Jack! Thanks, Jack! Do you need any tips? I see that you are new and level 21. I I need all the tips I can get, coach. I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. What the heck is a a butterfly peak? Is this thing a butterfly or is it a peacock or is it a bass? They've named like three different types of animals here. Bugs, birds, and fish. What the heck is this thing? Golly. Hello. Hello, koi foil. How are ya? Need to buy FIFA. What 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 do you really want, Noah? What what game do you really want? Call the Wild Hunter question here, but I just got into it because of you. Do you think you will ever do an SPR video? Uh, SRP Silver Ridge Peaks. We we certainly have done Silver Ridge Peaks videos in the past. I would uh, look them up. Go to the magnifying glass on the BZ Hub and uh, look up Silver Ridge Peaks. I'm sure you'll find the videos. Blue flag, flat spoon. Okay, thank you, Bradley. Yeah, that's the that's the, that's a good one for big fish. On Xbox, ooh, very cool, Logan. England won against Spain in women's Euro. Dude, right on. There is a small trophy largemouth bass. I'll take ya, I'll take ya. Oh God, we just filled up our entire fish keeper. And we got the X-Series Slim Float. So take that, all of you people out there. All right, we gotta switch over here. I'm gonna switch to nighttime. And switch to this time. You know, I didn't catch any unis the first time I did this, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot anyway. We're gonna give it a shot anyway. Actually, you know what I wanna try? You know what I really want to try? <laughs> I want to try catching a saltwater fish on a 13 pound rod. That's what I want to try. Look at all those bugs over there. Or birds. They could be bugs or birds, I don't know. Or they could be bugs, birds, or fish. Another peacock bass. What is the best place to make money at level 10? <laughs> you know, someone ought to really make a video about that. That way they don't have to answer any questions about it. Uh, I would recommend Elijah looking up the uh, BZ Hub Beginning Series 2, where you can follow along and uh, fish at all the places I recommend as I level up as well. And then you'd see at level 10, I'm, uh, I'm probably heading to the, gl uh, to the, to the, to the lake. Emerald Lake. To not get bored when at Michigan grinding for cat boxers to farm sturgeon at Cali. Uh, I, I'd recommend getting into a good TV show, Class O. Drop a hint that turn of players use for large amount that it's the blue crab monster bait in the X series crawfish jig. Ooh, very cool. 
Richard. Thank you, Richard, for the sub. Come on, come on, fish. You cooked why you last night? Goodness gracious. It was all right. It was all right. I'm not sure what retrieve to try here. Let's try a little twitch. I'm sure a stop and go would work too. Do you still stream The Hunter? Every Monday, you better believe it. Where were you last Monday? We literally played it. More than one day every time I go to the map, yes or no? I would just start with one day and just move on from there. There's no reason to buy multiple days on day one. Bye! What's your favorite fish to catch in Fish Planet and in real life? Oh god, tarpon are probably one of my favorites in Fishing Planet, but uh, I don't know, I love catching carp, carp and catfish in real life. I'm a new sub right on Pioneer. I saw your uh, I saw your thing pop up. So yeah, I believe it. Do you stream on Twitch as well? I, d I do not. We used to stream on Twitch. Um, it got to be too much of a hassle, and then when we streamed on Twitch, no one came to watch anyway. So it was like, why are why are we streaming on Twitch? It's a waste of time. So we s just switch to YouTube only kind of skeptical about has anyone like played a beta or anything nope it's a it's a new game no one's played anything first fishing planet fish was a white crappie was it what do we got so is it a freaking gaff top sale wow our our first fish out in the saltwater area is a gaff top sale catfish how about that this is magical a magical moment Oh, that's amazing. I was, I was kind of except, uh, you know, expecting something a little bit bigger than that. Maybe, uh, maybe a snook or a red drum or something. What pound test are you using? 13 pounds. Do you think the angler will compare to Fishing Planet? Uh, no. I think, uh, I think the angler will uh, destroy Fishing Planet. I think that uh, that it'll be a slow start because obviously we're only starting with one, one map, but that uh, eventually uh, everyone will probably forget about Fishing Planet because so many people will be playing the angler. Green Oof, this is your first live. We'll ride on, man. Glad to have you. We're really struggling with that number 200. We keep teetering over 200, we'll get to like 204, and then next thing you know, it'll go back down. It'll go back down to like 198, and then it goes back up to 200 and something. Just keeps going back. You are, Why do people always ask things you already made a video about? You know what? They just haven't found the video yet. That's why I always tell them about the videos. It's, uh, it's funny because I have people who, uh, who like tell me to not make so many lives. They're like, well, why do you make live streams when you should just make videos? And then you have the other people who don't even watch the videos and only watch the lives. So it's always interesting to see what type of people people are. Golly, 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 golly. This is, uh, this is something I've learned about the saltwater fish here at the glades, is that eventually you end up having to back up because my reel's not doesn't have a good enough recovery to keep up with them. They are uh, they're too good, too good. I don't even know what the heck this thing is. It's a snook. It's a little snook. We got you, snook. Give up on life right now. Give up on life. You got barbed by Gaff Top Sale? My goodness. That doesn't sound fun at all, Grizz. Hunter map do you like the most, stream the most? You know, I don't stream any of them the most because they all get kind of boring to me over time. But uh, my favorite map is Verhonga. Always has been. African hunting, man. 
That's where it's at. That's where it's at. Can we see the puppy dog? Well, right now we're fishing right now, so... Um, if the puppy dog were to show up at some point during the uh, video, then then yeah, then we totally take a look at him. Totally take a look at him. Would you like fishing plan to add more spots to fish and new fish? What would, would I like fishing plan to get more interesting and have more fish to catch? No, that sounds awful. What's up with people on these rhetorical questions? Uh, you just trying to you just try you just asking the rhetorical questions, you know the answer to. Hey Bo, if I had four apples and I ate two of them, how many uh would I have left? Eh. How do you use a jerk bait? I always just kinda did a twitch with it, honestly. Stick reports! Well, thanks for the sub reports using bass jigs in real life because I don't really know how to use them very well. Honestly, the bass jig is such a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You can use it in so many different ways. I honestly would just bounce it off the bottom because uh, it really does look like a, like a crawfish. And it drives bass insane. Look at that, a little 12 pound snook. Happy days, happy days indeed. You know, the first time First time I, I hooked a snook on this account, it uh, it was so quick that it literally started coming at me and this reel couldn't even keep up with it and we lost it. So, anyway, that was a fun little break. Let's go back to uh, fishing for these bass, huh? <laughs> I had to change it up. I felt like we were doing the same thing too much. Should we start with the walker or should we start with the bass jig? What do you think? Let's go back to the walker. Let's give the walker a try. I'm looking to have fun after I finish the grind. After you've finished EESS, and just do whatever you want. All hail the king. Rankin Wiggins, hi. How are ya? Come on, man. Get the walker. Nothing really interested in this thing right now. The snook looks gold, yeah. What's your most favorite lure? Oh god, I don't know. Buzzbait? I think the buzzbait's just a really easy, versatile lure that you can use for all sorts of stuff. It's just a really nice lure, man. You can throw pretty much anything on the back of a buzzbait, uh, you know, any soft bait and it will like immediately allow you to go after the fish that goes after that soft bait. It's amazing. Look at the little butterfly. Butterfly peacock here. Early morning walker, of course. 222 people liking, absolutely. Though I will say, it always shocks me when we get 200 people walking. <laughs> and I always say, you know, yeah, we have 200 people watching, but do you think we can get to 200 likes? Because I don't think it's possible. You know? Can people can people do that? I, I think it's too difficult most of the time. <laughs> if you fall and go on your phone. Come on, fish. Oh, 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 oh! Got something, got something, but not good enough. Had something, I should say. Had something, but not good enough. Yeah, once I get like midway here, I just end up reeling the whole thing in. Not worth it. Always end up catching Gar when I uh, pass out to this right side. Let's see. Should I use a popper in the Heron River? Sure, give it a go. See what you catch. See if anything goes for it. You never know till you try it. Did you shave? Oh, I I I trimmed, I should say. Uh here and there. What a fail. Come on, man. 
been watching a few this week. Best tips and tricks I've seen. Right on. Appreciate it. What is better for XP, blue crab fishing or sturgeon fishing? Um, I, I'm not really sure. I feel like people uh, grind sturgeon so long to get to blue crab that the thought of going back to fishing for uh, sturgeon afterwards just drives him insane. <laughs> um... And then I get uh, and then I get notices from people's parents telling me that uh, they had to check their kid into an asylum because he spent so much time uh, trying to get to Blue Crab, and then he ended up just going back to San Joaquin afterwards. Um, so ever since that, um, I just say, you know what? You don't know, fish for fish at Blue Crab. You know, don't even think about going back to San Joaquin in gaming mode. The left one walking and frogging for the daytime. Ooh, walking and frogging. Over here? This this way left? That is a long way left. I don't think... You know, people... Uh, I remember being here for the first time. People told me to cast out here, the left side. And uh, and I just I just never, never was a big fan of that. But I'll give it a go. Just for you. $34,000 at the Everglades from a five-night stay. Dang, man. Your little peacock. But he wasn't good enough. Gotta be quicker than that. Gotta be quicker than that, peacock. Just gotta reel that baby up. 13-pound bass? Ain't possible. Ain't possible. I'll believe it when I see it. If your beard was gray, you would look like Santa. Santa with a magnificent cowboy mustache? Sounds amazing. That's the sort of Santa Claus I could get behind. Come on, ba oh, oh yo! We got ya. He's a little guy, but we got him. Come here, little guy. I'm gonna name you Squirt. Come here, Squirt. We got ya, Squirt. Little three pound largey. Let's see if Squirt's got a bigger brother in here. Oh, Chungus. Get out of here, Chungus. Grab a shot, grab with a shotgun, and now in jail. And a $1,200 bail. Wow. Well, guess he'll learn never to shoot a carp with a shotgun again. Biggest fish yet. 43 pound red drum. Right on. Casey! Thank you, Casey! Oh, oh, he's he's putting up a little bit of a fight there. I think we have a gar, don't you? This is a trap, huh? You trying you trying to trap me? Don't cast by the sunken car, you'll catch a bow fin. Wow, okay. I see how it is. Trick me into catching a bow fin, huh? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Gotta trick old Bo, huh? Oh yeah, cast out to the left, Bo. That's where I catch all my big bass. Now, freaking Bo Finn, you guys. <laughs> I ain't gonna trust you ever again. Never again. What a terrible fish. Almost seven pounds and a hundred bucks. How do they even have game fish in the game like that? It's just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Let's see, what's the point of a fish like that? Catching the unique crabbing the heron, it's fine and they get much bigger than you'd expect. No, I haven't. Mason, how's it going? Not sure if that was a snag or a fish there. Meters went up. I was reading the chat. Do you have to use the so-called carp hooks or can you use other hooks for them? You can use other hooks. Pretty sure anyway. But uh, you can only use... You can only use, um, what is it? Carp hooks with carp leaders or something like that? And you can only use carp leaders with carp rods? It's something like that, I can't really remember. 40 pound snook, right on. What does it mean to clip the line on a sinker setup? You can clip the line, um, say you cast out 30 feet or something like that, and you like that distance, right? You can clip the line, and then every time you cast out, it will hit the clip at 30 feet and drop down so that you can continue to fish the same distance without thinking about it. 
um, really is the simplest way of describing it. Another trophy largey. Keep him. We'll keep him. He's he's a cutie. Let's go. Uh, let's go here. Hopefully the walker does some work here. I wouldn't mind catching me an uni peacock on the old walker early in the morning. How do you show me the 13 pound bass? You uh you you get it on your game and or yeah, you look it up <laughs> on on imagination land since it doesn't exist. And then it oh oh big peacock. Big peacock. Oh we hooked into him. We hooked into him. Um and then you uh take a picture, take a screenshot or take a picture with your phone. Um you know, at that point, put it into Photoshop. That way you can edit it to say 13 pounds. And then uh, and then you post it onto the uh, Fishing Planet uh, channel of the BZ Hub Discord, of course. This guy's putting up a little bit of a fight here, but I am hesitant to call him an unicorn this early on. Wee, 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 wee. We'll find out. We'll find out when we get him closer, though. Come on, man. Come on, man. Bowfin goes for $16 per pound. Yeah, that's not great. That's not great. Wish my brother went for $16 a pound. Haha. <laughs> get, a, get a good price for him. Trophy Butterfly. Still not the uni we're going for, but that is all right. Trophy Butterfly. Almost the best paying fish at Everglades anyway, so might as well. Might as well take that. Get, take take the old uh, take he knows old lady out for a date. We'll enjoy that. How's it going there, BZ Hub? Dot dot dot. DT Gaming says. Oh, it's it's moving. DT, how's it going for you? Defensive tackle gaming. I dig it. Oi oi oi. We got him. We got him hooked up. Ooh, he's taking a little bit of line out. But not a lot of line. Is that tea or coffee you're drinking? It is a uh, soda. It is neither of those. Little uh, little little flirtigar, little flirtigar. Noise. Yoink, yoinker doodle. Running out of places to cast and mix it up. Low levels that buy a boat pack and annoy you for no reason. <laughs> Oh, tell me about it. Hey! Oh, it's another freaking gar, I bet. Yanked it out of his mouth. And we could continue to fish. Once I get it about halfway, I just reel it in because I'm like, God, I don't even care anymore. It's all about catching them within like the first six feet out from the lily pads until you get the frog and then you can cast it into the lily pads and then it's even better what level are you 21 at the moment julia hi make fun of zach might get macho man bow on you that wouldn't be good at all but that does remind me that it's the halftime show everybody let's get this uh let's get this <gasps> big peacock big peacock big peacock at least he was. He might have uh, tricked us and then gave us a small peacock to reel in. This dude's not taking in any any uh, line at all. What a loser! Such a small peacock would hate to jinx myself to get a larger peacock than I imagined. Another trophy, though. Right on! Wow, a new personal record! Literally put up zero fight at all. Well, right on, everybody. This is a great time to stop for the halftime show. See you afterwards. Welcome to Andy's Brands. Now, take it away, Dwarven Pirate. Arr, aren't you tired of not being a part of the ship of BZ Hubbards? Well, are you? Support Bo and the BZ Hub by becoming a member today for only two measly doubloons. And if you're feeling extra generous, become a hub lord for only 10 pieces of booty a month. But if you've got treasure bursting from your pockets, become a hub master for only 20 doubloons a month. 
and that's a great price. And if you ask Bo, he'll say I'm cutting this a little short. What? Wait, is that a height joke? <laughs> Curse you, Bo! A fast ye matey! A guy! And now, a glimpse back at yesteryear. Ah, a fair maiden fishing on a sunny day. But what's this? A small fish? This could only be the work of Black Whisker. <laughs> yes, it is I, Black Whisker. And now you shall only catch small fish. Easy Hub Halftime Show, not sponsored by any of these brands. Now, I swear take it away, God. Dwarven what, Pirate. What is the freaking Arr, Aren't you tired of not being a part of the ship of BC Hubbards? Well, are you? Support Bo and the BZ Hub by becoming a member today for only two measly doubloons. Well, now you can't hear anything, huh? Will he give that belt up? Mr. Macho, Mr. Macho. What about now? Better now? Words. Mr. Macho Bo always has words to give to his fans. Mr. Macho, after thousands of fights this year, you're still undefeated. But are you at all nervous about this new fighter? No, absolutely not, Dan. If anything, this is the most confident Macho Man Bo has been all year long. And I've got something to say to Mr. Gray League out there. I'm gonna hook you, and I'm gonna hold you up for all the world to see. And right when you're gonna wanna go back to your little mommy, you're not gonna be able to, cause I'm gonna take you, and I'm gonna put you up on a wall mount up in my cabins, out in the woods, and no one will be able to find you ever again. Strong words from a strong man, Mr. Macho. Back to you, Tom. Check out all of Bo's Fishing Planet Monster Fish videos by watching the Halloween Extravaganza playlist, only found on the BZ Hub. Now, back to your scheduled broadcast. Fantastic. I just want to say... Thanks. It's ridiculous. I have I have those uh, opposite of each other. I have two advertisements, but the number two ad is on the halftime show one, and the number one ad is on the halftime show two, and I always forget that, and I always forget to swap it after the live. Ah, oh, it just annoys me. Okay, top notch. Let's get back to fishing, everybody. <laughs> Why? Why are we talking about bananas? Can you buy areas in Fishing Planet? Can you buy areas in Fishing Planet? No? What do you think this is? Monopoly? Top notch, Mr. Macho Man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Creepy kid. Dig it, Derek says. Yes. When I go crazy, I don't see any deer. Well, what's the deal? Gotta finish it up with the creepy kid. The creepy kid's the best part, man. He, he is what makes the advertisement. I love how we were at 226 people, but now we're at 183. Everyone hated that halftime show so much. We literally lost 40-some people. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Whoa! Though it might have been because I showed two advertisements, pretty much. <laughs> two halftime shows. Cream of the crop. 
Randy Mustavage. <laughs> Another little peacock here. 3.5 pounds on that guy. Come on, man. We need the biggins. Where be the biggins? <clears throat> You're curious if mouse lures work here. That would be pretty interesting to see, wouldn't it? Come on, fish. Oh, oh, another gar. Another gar. What rod and reel is that? It is the Attorney 3000P reel with the Argo 6 foot 3, 13 pound rod. So, that's exactly what it is. Four and a half pound gar there. Let's mix it up. We're gonna mix it up, boys. The old three up bass jig. Probably wouldn't hurt to throw on a uh, craw, but we're just gonna keep it with this. Go unknown. Unknown. Made it to and caught your first trophy lake trout yesterday, plus you're Australian. What is that supposed to is that supposed to be like, oh I, I wouldn't know anything about lake trout because I'm Australian or something? What what is that? I mean it's great to have you all the same. Just curious. How much will be the angler? I don't know. They haven't told me yet. Two hundo likes? What? What is your favorite genre of music? I'm not sure if I have a favorite genre. I like synth pop. I like alternative hip hop. Kingsley with the sub. Thank you, Kingsley. What is slow mode? It uh, it it stops people from uh, just repeating the same thing over and over and over again, repeatedly, which we sometimes get. Now it uh, now they have to wait three seconds before they uh, say something else, so they can't just come into the uh, into the chat and go hi 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 hi, because we all love when people do that, don't we? <laughs> CJ, did you miss much? Oh, just... Just hanging out with me, I suppose. 188 people are... I imagine them all fitting into my small office space. Yeah, you, know, you realize how cramped it would be in here with 188 people? I honestly don't think we could do it. We would have to be freaking clowns. Like, you know when the clowns go into the car and, like, squish into the car, all of them? That's what we would have to be fit into this room. You almost got the same rod as me. Whoa. Can we get Macho Man Bo as the Super Bowl halftime show next year? It would be pretty sweet. You know? Who's gonna be in the next Super Bowl, huh? Anyone got any bets they're gonna place? Huh? Anyone been paying attention to, like, the, the scouting reports or anything? I don't even think they're probably playing right now. They're probably on their off-season off or something, enjoying family life and stuff. Hey, there's a fish. There's a fish. Will you have any tourney videos? Probably not. I don't really enjoy the tourneys that much, Kroger. Hi, hi, rooster. Hi. Did I miss any unis? Just one, Drag, yeah. One in the very beginning, we got a largey. Little guy, little guy. I think it's time to uh, move over. Move over to another area. Let's see what we can catch over here. Oh, let's put the craw on. I do like throwing that craw on. It gives me good vibes. Catch, clean, and cook video. Yes, you know, it's terrible, but uh, there's been twice, two times where I've planned on doing a catch and cook, catch, cook, and clean video, whatever you want to call it, catch and cook video. And, uh, and, and when I go out to catch the fish, I don't catch them. And it's just the most aggravating thing ever because I go out all the time to just catch fish and, and release them and stuff like that. And then the moments that we actually go out to catch fish to come home and cook them up, we catch nothing. Every time. 
It's so annoying. You have no idea. Hello, how's it going, John Wick? Wow, John Wick in my live stream. Bassmaster right now, I just got a 19 pound striped bass. Very cool. If you, uh, if I, yeah, probably so. She'd be annoyed. She's not that social of a person. I'm not either, too. I don't know what I would do if I was surrounded by that many people. Probably just sit there and listen to people. <laughs> I got, I got far in life by just sitting and listening to what people say. You learn a lot more by just sitting and listening to people. Which is why every Monday and Wednesday I, uh, I play video games and just chat to, to, uh, to people typing words on a screen. Um. <laughs> the trophy. Another trophy bass. Look at that little 5.2. 5.274 pounder there. Righto, righto. Do you believe in Bigfoot? I tell you, I want to believe so badly. I want to believe in Bigfoot, but uh, but no, I don't think Bigfoot's real. It's uh, it is interesting that so many cultures have stories cultural uh, stories of of what is pretty much like the same person. Wow, he literally got off the hook from flailing about and jumping out of the water and not having the tension. St. Patrick's 4th of July, Halloween or Christmas? Bro, I've always been a Halloween person. I love the Halloween event in Fishing Planet. Little bit of Chef Bo action. Is that what we is that what we need? A little bit of Chef Bo action. Maybe so, maybe so. Hope the stream has been good. Went out fishing for the first time last week. Ended up breaking your kneecap. My gosh. Well, yeah. Don't go uh, don't go spreading that around. We don't need everyone thinking that their first fishing trip of the year will be a broken kneecap. That wouldn't be good. TKG. Well, I'm sorry that happened. That's awful. Come on, big fish. Big fish. There we go. Little, little guy. Little, he's your little guy. Catfish is a good eating along with the walleye. Yeah, that's very true. Very true. Have you thought about this BZ? It uses a purple worm in the hair, and why don't you use it here? Because in the evening, the bite changes the bottom bass methods as opposed to the morning. Body, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, you don't unlock uh, purple worms until. Let's see, I actually saw that they had worms near. So I just unlocked them at level 21. So I haven't even had them available until this level. Uh, but yeah, I did enjoy using the purple worm. Uh, and heron. I thought it was a great lure. Or a great bait, I guess. Lure, what are you going to call it? All the trophies. How do you add me? You uh, you look up friends, and then you type in my username as the password. And uh, and then you uh, you just start playing. Just start playing. You, you look spry, young whippersnapper. Ah, oh, you know me. I'm always whipping snappers. BZ Hub, how are you doing today? Callum, I'm doing quite well. How are you? How's it going? Your guide on Max Tension Setups helped me so much when I came to the Everglades of Fish Tarpon. Right on. Another little trophy largey. We're at 78% on the reel here. Nice Indo gamer doing my red deer grind and I am at 100 kills at most shot second nine one diamond and one rare other than nine I just shot well cool Sammy Hopefully you get a, a great one soon Guardian, but what's the difference in between a spinning rod and a casting rod in fishing plant? Uh, not so much usually the uh, recovery is uh, is lower on casting rods or casting reels specifically um, but they're usually stronger um, and they should hold more line but I've never paid attention to see if that's true generally they uh, hold more, more line four pounder or four pounder Kings Annoy high bowfin incoming oh yeah well 
Especially if we cast over here, huh? Send a friend request? Okay, I'll look. What level are you? We just showed that we're level 21. What's your favorite type of carp? Hey, you know, uh, I mean, ghost carp are cool. Don't get me wrong. It's one of my favorite carp I've ever caught. But mirror carp, because they're so different and you can actually, like, you know, take a photo of them and remember what they look like, that they're, they're one of my favorites. I think that that creates a really cool aspect of fishing when you uh, can recognize a fish that other people have caught and release it you know give it a name give it a sweet name and then uh and then everyone can go on trying to catch old iron sides or whatever you want to call them it's just a cool thing everyone you have is because i put you on for one the hair let's be x series and f they've chats my greatest achievement your best now, i see i don't even remember that don't even remember that that I, yeah, that was a long time ago. Fishing Planet music video coming out. I don't know because I haven't made the music, so I really don't know. I've got other things on my mind at the moment. I'm not sure if we'll ever. Or Brad, thanks for the sub. I'm not sure when a Fishing Planet music video will come out. What do? polarized glasses do and are they worth it well first off they're not worth it um all they do is supposedly cut out the glare on the water in fishing planet which doesn't matter because the fish don't exist there until you catch them so there's really no point they don't they don't do anything it's just maddening it's maddening that they created them and then not only that but they sell them for such a high price that it's just it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense at all it's just it's a trap for people to uh to give their money up just ridiculous all right another good day another good day in the books everybody this is the day that we actually caught the uh uni largy so let's give it a go this is where we caught him. This is where we caught him. Level 33, so I should have know that. Ah. Damien. Yo, how's it going, Damien? Come on, big bass. Okay, there we go. Yeah, a little, little chunk. A little chunk. Will the angler be cross-platform? I have heard that, yes. The answer is yes, it will be. So, it'll be interesting. May Diamond, well, good deal. Everglades is such a chill location. It really is. It's just constant fish. There's really not... I mean, it, it's crazy that that's a chill... That, that means that it's chill when you're constantly catching fish. But... It, there's something chill about it. Just because it's just so consistent. You really don't have to do all that much. You just cast out. And you catch... You just catch bass over and over and over again. And because of that, it's a very chill location. Go fishing with my friend tomorrow. Sounds cool, Dallas. What's the difference between a walker and a frog? <laughs> well, one's always walking around while the other one's hopping. Um, uh, the biggest difference, I guess, using it is that the frog doesn't get caught in things, whereas the walker will get hooked on lily pads or weeds and stuff like that. The frog will not. Uh, the frog, you can throw the frog directly into lily pads and it will not get hooked on anything. So that is the biggest, uh, biggest thing going for the frog. You better believe when I can buy that frog, that's the first thing I'm gonna buy. Golly, fill the frog, man. That is the way to go. Trophy bluegill on a casting spoon? Very cool. What's the biggest fish you've got? I would love to tell you that, but it's a secret until our Everglades video comes out. So. Can't tell you. You've enjoyed being on Discord? 
it's a, it's a fun thing. It's fun being part of a little community that shares shares their lives, I guess. You feel like you're a part of everyone's lives in a way. Look at this dude. Putting up a little bit of a battle. Huh? Will the angler come to switch? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and venture to guess no. Would be super cool if it did, though, huh? That'd be super cool. Well, I tell you what, if this is a butterfly, you would think this would have to be a unicorn butterfly. He is putting up a heck of a fight. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, only a trophy, but a new personal record. Golly, man, I was sure. I was I was thinking, oh, those unicorns better get ready to dance. But nope, only a trophy. We did level up, though, so that's nice. 579 bucks on that guy. And we got White Moose Lake. Woo! White Moose Lake. We unlocked the Loki SE rod, which means that it's a bait coin rod, I believe. Uh, Kayak, Hornet Swarm SE. Reamer 4500, Thora 6'10, which isn't a bad rod. Farcaster 6'3. Unlocked a bunch of crankbaits, but I I I want to say that they're probably also bait coins. I'm not sure though. Could not be, which would be great. Some more line. Some medium spoons, which is always nice. They're barbless, so they cost bait coins as well. There's some good bait medium spoons though. Yeah, some good stuff. Look at all that stuff. That's great. And 1500 bucks and a bait coin. Not bad at all. Sorry, I got you guys. I just... I, I got you. I friended you. Oh! Squish Flint became a moderator. Ooh, okay. Best biggest fish caught so far out of the maps that you have unlocked. I, I, I can't tell you guys. Stop asking me about it. It's a secret until the videos come out. Lone Star is so boring at level 42. <laughs> I know, right? Golly. Why are you at Lone Star at level 42? Usually that means you made a mistake. Hate to, hate to say it. No, I'm kidding. Could be there for other fun reasons, I'm sure. What's the best lure in Emerald? Purple Narrow Spoon, of course. Everybody knows that. You testing me? You're obviously testing me. You knew that. Playtime of Fishing Planet. In your whole playtime of Fishing Planet. Hey, speaking of that, uh, here's a riddle for you all. What can you put in a barrel that you can see is weightless and makes the barrel lighter? Huh? What can you put in a barrel that you can see, it's weightless, and it makes the barrel lighter? Huh? Who can get it? Who can get it? Robs! Captain Unicorn Rob does, I agree. Tuckered out. Tuckered out. Medium spoons and poppers are the best lures in the game. Medium spoons are pretty great. Yeah. Are you still playing Fishing Planet Mobile? No. We stopped playing Fishing Planet Mo Mobile a long time ago. I told everyone why. Told everyone why. I even put it in the uh, in the review. You can go on the uh, you can go on the Apple Store review and see my review. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What is the rod and reel? Rod and reel is the Attorney 3000P reel and the Argo 6 foot 3 rod. Bo, is there any way to see what you have posted on the Discord? Yeah, absolutely. By going to the Discord, which you can get a link to in the description. Tammy Fish, hi. Shane N says air, air, fire, helium. 
fire would would certainly light the barrel on fire and then it could burn and get lighter huh lots of lots of holes though which is the correct answer good job good job Greg Greg was the first one I think scared to go to the Everglades I feel that I won't make any money and just want to stay at Emerald well you do what you want to do man if you want to stay at Emerald from level 10 to 30 then go for it the answer is fire Carly Priv, Carly Priv. You know, I I feel like it's always fun to have Carly Priv here. I feel like you don't see Carly enough. Good to have you, Carly. How's life going? And and David, of course. How's how? I don't know what I I need to update on both of you. I don't know what's going on in your lives anymore. I feel like I used to be all up to date on what was going on in your lives, and now I know nothing. How am I? I'm doing quite well, Tammy Fish. How are you? You were kind of right. Kind of right. Nice stash. Thanks, Tan Tan. Where the heck have you been, huh? We've been worried sick. Jeez Louise. All right, the fish have shut off here. Let's go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. Let's try the walker here. We haven't tried the walker here yet. Two hundred and fifty likes. You know what? I, we have half an hour. I know it's crazy to say this again, but I think we could get to three hundred likes. I think we have the potential. It's only sixty likes away, to be honest. You've got me to level twenty-three fast, Hunter Bradley. Glad to hear it, man. That's awesome. Come on, fish. Come get it. Go. Oh. That's a big peacock. That's a big peacock. At least I think, anyway. He sure looked like it. Stuck at home for the rest of the week because a family member has COVID. Oh, no. Oh, no. That stinks, David. Don't like to hear that. Trophy butterfly there. So you're probably getting all sorts of time to play Fishing Planet, eh? That's nice. Your your boss is probably like, yeah, 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 you stay home, play Fishing Planet. Have a good time, David. All right, you deserve it. Been working hard. The post, uh, Striper caught and was wondering if there was any way of finding it in the Discord. Oh, I'm not sure. Might be able to search it if you remember what you said with it. Oh, yeah. Tried to hook it, but we yanked it out of his mouth. And then we found a peacock. Whee! Oh, I don't know, everybody. This is a feisty peacock. He's just got his feathers all ruffled and everything. I don't know. I don't know. Boy, I would just hate to be catching an unicorn right now. That would just be awful. I, I do know that. Thanks, coach. Thanks, Forrest. Come here, you. Get in here. Please make the unicorns dance. Ah! Gosh dang it, man. Six pound trophy. We are so close. Seven pound butterfly is like pretty much, pretty much an uni at that point. Eight pound, definitely. God, we were so close. Multiple times now. Something, but we just need 30 to 35 to start smoking. Yesterday, 75,000 went up the river where we we're going. So fishing should be great tomorrow. That's awesome, Marcus. 
Zyth, what are you talking about? Am I keeping that at Lone Star? Well, goodness gracious, that is quite a bit. Why would you? Why would? Why would you do that? <laughs> but, but why? But why? You spent so much time wondering if you could that you never asked if you should. <laughs> oh! Pulled it out of his mouth! Come on, Peacock. If you're a real fish, you'll try to do it again. Unless you're just weak. Oh, he did go for it again. <laughs> Boy, he really took that uh, seriously. I called him weak, and then he immediately came back and grabbed it. <laughs> oh. Just your hairy, your hairy uncle. Classic. We've all got some uncle in the family with way too much hair. Don't we? Don't we all? Technically, I do not. But, I mean, it's fun to think about. Got to 255 likes. Really easy. You can definitely get 300. That's what I'm thinking. Two of the four bottom pack, catfish pack. Oi! Oi! Oh, come on now. Remember when I didn't like St. Croix? Yes, I do. I do remember. I pretty much hated St. Croix in the beginning. Well, that fish out, I know, right? We'll get him. We'll get him. PB largemouth day. That's awesome. Oh! That was the weirdest bite. It, like, splashed twice, and then the lure just started gently going to the left. Is fishing planet cross platform? Not really. I mean, pretty much no. 262 likes. Level 23, always result back to Lenny in Lone Star. What should you do? Not go back to Lenny Vala. That is an awful place to go. Um, get to Emerald and stay at Emerald for a while. Make some moolah. Come on, Peacock, be a Peacock. <gasps> what a loser, dude. These dudes are freaking crazy. Why can't you have a chance to catch like a 20 pound bass? You can, it just has stripes on it. And you have to catch it at Blue Crab or at uh, San Joaquin. Hub oh, man! What? Thank you, thank you, David. That's awesome. Glad to have you. What size hook should I use to catch the black tailed shiner at Lone Star Lake? I'm trying to get the missions done. Oh, golly. Uh, number eight hook would be fine. That's usually my go-to when I'm just trying to catch small fish to get them out of the way. I use, uh, use number eight hooks. Something small. That will, that will catch them, you know? Eight pound largemouth bass on Saturday. Massive fish. Your PB. Nice. Let me see. Gotta post a picture on the Discord. Gotta post a picture. It's the rule. You tell people about fish, you gotta post picture. This picture... Yes. Re unless unless you're truly talking about something with two P's instead of just one. Realize that you're either misspelling something, or, uh, or that it's not a fish, and so you cannot post it in the Discord. Missed your comment? I guess so, Forrest. What'd you say? Sorry, the chat's moving rather quickly. Even with the three-second buffer in between chats, I, it's, it's still kind of difficult to keep up with it. What should you do at level six to make money? I don't know. You're just gonna have to, just gonna have to look at the old BZ Hub beginner series and see what I was doing at level six, man.
Uh, some would say, some would say Mudwater might be an okay place to go at level six though, Shane. How much money would you need to go to Everglades and be successful? Um, I mean, I came here with 2,000 bucks. I bought this 13 pound rod and reel, um, and then I paid to travel here and, uh, and, and a license, and then I uh, had enough for an extra day. And I now have 20,000, which isn't a lot, but it's, it's more fun than fishing for walleye constantly. I don't know, because you're kind of mixing it up, catching different fish. What are we drinking? We're drinking uh, Diet Dr. Pepper. But he ain't coming down, because it's the same old kind of... Like a hater man. I have no idea, but but uh, you just started that uh started that old thing, that old song. Three out walker, good for bass at the Everglades. You better believe it. I bet it will do amazing. A balloon. Never told you the answer to the riddle. I did too. There were there were many people who uh, guessed it. It was a hole. You can put a hole in a barrel. You can see it. It's weightless, and uh, and it makes the barrel lighter. Unless you're talking like negative weight, and then it could possibly have a negative weight. I don't know. Usually people don't talk about negative weights, though. Unless they're talking about their latest health craze. <laughs> Am I right? Got Florida Gar without a leader and lost your frog lure. Really? I have never been broken off by a Florida Gar. Even catching uniques. Never been broken off. So that's surprising. All right, let's move back to the infinity tunnels. Move back to the infinity tunnels. I tell you, we got to 265 likes so quickly, and then uh, and then we just and then we just shut off. We couldn't do anything better. I don't know. I'm starting to get worried. I don't know if we'll get to 300. <laughs> we were at like 250 something, and then we got to 265 real quick, and then uh, and then we stopped. Just came to a screeching halt. Let's get this, uh, this craw back on here. And it was a unicorn gar. Well, right on, Alex. Dance, unicorns, dance. Everyone should get some dancing unicorns. They make the game so much fun. Do you like the new river they added? That's okay. I, I don't really spend a lot of time there, but... It's, it's fun, though. The taming are fun. Good place to go, a level 27. Um, I don't know. I guess you could, just to mix it up. There's only three levels till uh, you get to St. Croix, I believe. Is that level 30? Get St. Croix at level 30, so... Little guy. J-Man's new. Well, glad to have you. How are you? Sorry you're late. You're with the fam. Well, fam matters more than me. So glad you're uh, spending time with the fam, Jerry. Ranked six on Fishing Planet yesterday. Right on, CJ. Whoa, got hit by something there. Tapped. Got tapped. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Are you allowed to add me? Absolutely. Though I will say on this account, I only uh, I only add people who uh, come to play. And if you don't play during the live stream, then I just delete you afterwards. 
ha 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 That's my evil laugh. Um, to everyone who who added me and thought that I'd keep them as a friend forever. Ha 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 ha! Little did you know that after tonight you would no longer be my friend. Ha 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 ha! Oh, there's fish. Taking on a little bit of line, too. What should you do at level 6 for money? Shane, Shane, I already answered your question, man. Come on. You, you ask questions, and then when I answer them, you don't even listen to what I say. What's the deal, man? How much does it cost to fish where you're fishing? A lot. Too much, man. Maybe like 8,500 or something like that. Whoa, that's a name. Thanks for the sub. I'm gonna fish with you, but I don't know your name. Well, that is the password. If you can't figure out the password, then you can't come play. That is the rule. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. 11,500, Ethan says. Whoa, that's even more. Watch your Naharan River video. Well, right on, Paul. Glad you did. If I would have been paying attention there, we might have been able to hook that fish that uh, came up and tried to grab it. Absolutely, Bill. That's what these uh, live streams are all about. They're open to open to people to come join and fish. But we're only going to be fishing for another 14 minutes, so better be quick. Just caught two uni muskies in a row. All right, on gray. level 49 so I can almost anywhere you go. Well, that's good, J-Man. Are you excited for the angler? I am a 12 out of 10 excited for the angler. Yes. Come on, fish. Got to, got to get this bass jig. Added you right on. Gonna look at the beginner's guide later. Sounds good. Benny boy, how's it going? Oh, there's a fish. 20, 20 likes away. 20 likes away. Can we do it? We only got uh, 13 minutes left. I think that's doable. 20, 20 minutes away. Or uh, 13, 13 minutes away and only 19 likes to go. Only 19, 19 likes to go. Look at all these people not fishing at the Everglades. Unfriended, unfriended. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Feels fun to be evil. Evil. <laughs> oh god, who is that? Uh, mermaid man. Evil. <laughs> oh god. I was rather shrieky. How old is Bjorn? Bjorn is uh almost eight. I want to say. I don't know. It just feels like he's eternally between seven and eight. I feel like I've been call, uh, telling people that he's uh, he's between seven and eight for like three years now, so I don't even know how old he is anymore. Little Bowfin, how about that? Get in here, little Bowfin. Raptor became a hub man. What? I tell you what, I love that picture of that uh, raptor right there. It's a great, it's a great photo. Thank you, thank you for coming, a hub man. Boy, we've had two different hub men today. David, I believe, and Raptor. Glad to have you. Thank you, thank you. I think it was David, right? I think so. David, if you're here, you have to say something. Yeah, you have. To, you both have to give a big speech now. I don't know if you knew that was required when you become a hub man. You, you have to give a big speech about how you're excited to be here and that you have a lot of potential and, uh, <laughs> you know, a classic movie speech. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
That would be awful. How do I add you? You'll just never know. I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> Nine, eight more now. Only eight to go. Hey, eight. Another fish on. Boy, they aren't big, but we got them, didn't we? Eight to go, eight to go. This guy's pulling out some wine, being a little spunky. Is he just a heavy little bass or is he a trophy? He's just a heavy little bass, 3.8 pounds. Alrighty, that's gonna take us over the edge there. Oh my God, we have 52 minutes, that's ridiculous. I ain't gonna wait for that, that's ridiculous. Oh, look at that beautiful Everglades sun. Marker buoy! Yay! Welcome to Target! Uh, big Bomb Squad! Yeah! Is there any good other XP grind from 45 to 50 other than Sturgeon? <laughs> yeah, man! There's a magical fish that levels you up super good. That's why we put it as a s it's it's S. It's E E S S S for super. Super good. Uh no. Barb the sturgeon until you get bored. And uh and once you're bored, just keep on keep on fishing for him. Um until you check yourself into an insane asylum. And that's uh that's how you do it. That's how you fishing plan it. That is how you fishing plan it. Just posted my guard in the Discord, so if you guys want to look and see, then go right ahead. Well, right on, Alex. Glad, glad you did so. Yeah, fishing with genius. I think you should level up. You should level up. You should. Uh, you should get the bigger keep net. There are some sturgeon that uh, that will surpass 44 pounds too. So, but it would be nice to go up to 44. <laughs> Definitely. Omega Chaddington, what? My goodness gracious! Hey BZ, you are awesome. You are awesome, Omega Chaddington. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. Feeding Frenzy, <laughs> the shiny fish leveled you up. <laughs> you should make merch. We do make merch, Hunter Bradley. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, we have all sorts of little links and stuff down in the description. If you're ever curious if I have something, you can just click on the old description and just look down there and see. Um, but I don't like Spreadshirt. They, they have a lot of great options in creating designs. But their shirts are just not the greatest quality. So I'm I'm looking for a new store to work with, but I, I'll just have to see. Productions! Thank you, thank you. Three more likes, three more to go. Can we do it? Edits! Thank you for the sub. Fish next. Finley, go the chance. Alright. What's my favorite state other than Kansas? Rib rack? Is that the rib rack? How do you donate? Gotta hit the dollar sign. Daniel, thank you for the sub. We just got subs just piling in right now. Golly, are you serious? And we hit 300 likes! I'll hit the unicorns for the 300 likes. How about that? Woo woo woo! Dance unicorns. Three unicorns for 300 likes. Oh, we just dropped down to 298. No more unicorns for anyone. Get rid of the unicorns. I don't, I don't, we'll just keep them going. Keep them going. That's it, we're ending this, we're ending the live stream early. People, people wanna play games, okay. Okay, 
I can play games too. How about another halftime show? We have halftime <laughs> show not sponsored by any of these brands. Now take it away, Dwarven Pirate. Art. Just kidding. You're lucky I caught a big fish. I have not 66. It's uh it's a it's a difficult thing because uh the the streaming platforms they only uh they only work with a certain number of uh branding stores. So it's kind of frustrating at times. Dude, what the heck do we have on? If this is a butterfly, we finally got our uni. Hey, if we break 315, 315 is the, re the record, isn't it? Isn't it the record? Awesome, 300. Got my second. Log Logos. Uh, I think we got a unicorn on. We got a unicorn butterfly. Darth Bo being evil. <laughs> I am prepared to walk backwards if need be to keep this fish on. Come on, butterfly. Kansas City barbecue sounds amazing today. Is it free to fish the Everglades? Oh, <laughs> yeah, you betcha. Well, it's like fishing. Every every place is free in Fishing Planet. You just click on a location and travel there. No, it's not free. No location is free in Fishing Planet except for Lone Star. And even there, you have to pay for an advanced license. Come on, you. I'm ready to see some unicorns dance. Let's go! Bingo, bango, bongo! We got him. We, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, that's all I ever wanted. It's all I ever wanted in life. People ask me, you know, you're gonna have kids? You ever, you ever gonna get kids? You're gonna watch them grow up and have successful likes, li lives? No way, bro. All I ever wanted was a unique butterfly peacock bass. Code with the sub. Thank you, Code. So good. So good. So good. How many maps are in the angler? They've only showed us one map. They've only showed us one map. I'm not forgetting. Marked him. We got ya. Unique butterfly peacock bass. Right there. We got ya. That's where we got ya. Right there. Marked for all eternity. Forever shall be known that that is where we got him. Did you buy the rod you were gonna buy? I believe it was the jig winner. Uh, bro, no, I did not. Um, I bought the Argo six foot three with the Attorney three thousand P reel. So I ended up going with a different rod and reel combo, but uh, I'm happy with it. It's been working out really well. Yikes, a rama. Clickbait? What are you talking about? Clickbait? Your clickbait. Wait, you, you meant is it is it free? As in you don't have to pay any money? Yes. Yes. It's 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 a free game. Why would you ask that? 
Oh, God. You're hilarious, L-Y-X-S. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna explain this. Fishing Planet is a free game. You can play it all the way through without spending any actual money. Now, are the locations in the, in the game free to go without spending any in-game money? No, you have to spend in-game money to go there. So when people ask me, is this free? Is that rod and reel free? Is this free? No, you have to buy them with in-game money. So to me, it's not free. Now, free to play, yes. The entire game's free to play. Slay's Dragon, thank you for the sub. Anywho, sorry for the confusion there. Clickbait, ASF, whatever you said. That's funny. Uh, uh, anyway, it's 9.30, everyone. Hopefully this was fun. If you enjoyed it, obviously consider hitting the like. Because, uh, you know what? We're, uh, we were, uh, we were three likes shy of beating the record, but that's okay. You know what? You had your chance to go down in history, and you blew it. So anyway, take care, everyone. We'll see you next time. Big thanks to, uh, for, uh, you know, David Probus and, uh, Carly Priv for being here. Love it. And, uh, we'll see you on Monday for some hunting Call of the Wild. Nope. Didn't get the record, you blew it. You couldn't, you had all stream to do it. I'm not giving it to you. All right, see you next time. We're one planet, one family, game on.